let's talk about the single leg hip thrust. I'm going to show you guys body weight, dumbbell, and with a landmine. And I'll start by saying that I think the landmine is best for, from a stimulus perspective. I think it's going to be the most comfortable to load up heavy. And so as you're getting stronger, the landmine is going to be probably the most practical thing to keep you going. As the dumbbell gets pretty heavy in your lap, sometimes it can be a little bit unwieldy, not as comfortable. And we'll talk about that. But first, I want to show you guys body weight just to go over some points of performance here. Set up with the bench right below your shoulder blades. We're going to be working our left leg here. And before we start, what I don't want is this scoop technique where there's a lot of this pelvic movement. That's not what I want, right? A lot of times when that happens, it's because your head and chest aren't moving. You're just trying to do this. I don't want that. I want you to hinge at the hip and up and extend. Hinge at the hip. And you see my head and chest are moving along with you know, this sort of hinge movement. That's what we want. I don't want your head and chest to not move and you just anterior and posteriorly tilt at the pelvis. We don't want that. Next, the non-working side leg. When you get to the top position, a lot of people you know, will leave this leg on the ground or they'll say bring it up here. What I'd like you to do is drive this knee to the sky. And what that looks like is up here into this like right angle position and then come back down. Next, well, on that note, that's one of the ways we can actually get a little bit more hip extension in that working leg, which can be one of the benefits of doing this unilaterally. Next, we want to look at my shin. You want your shin to be vertical or vertical-ish at the top. If my foot is too far underneath, I'm going to engage a little bit too much quad, and you can see I'm kind of up on my toe already. If my foot is too far away, it's going to be a little bit too much hamstring. That's not necessarily what we want. We want something like a right angle uh, with that much knee flexion, which is going to yield kind of like a vertical shin, which will look like this. Roughly, I can't see, but roughly like this. Next, when it comes to loading this, I'm going to show you guys with a dumbbell. Pretty easy. You're just going to hold it in that hip crease of the working side leg. And then that hand can just hold the dumbbell in place here, and you can go through your reps. And that's all well and good. I think dumbbell version's really great. It's logistically pretty easy. But as the weight starts to get pretty heavy, the dumbbell might not be super practical, and that's where I would advise the landmine. Um, and you don't need a fancy landmine. You guys can see my barbell is just resting on the floor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your plate on, Take your hip thrust pad instead of putting it down here, because obviously this part isn't going in your lap. You're going to put it on the outside of that bumper plate. And just kind of wrap it around. It's not going to wrap all the way around as well as it does here, because this part's thicker. And then put it in the same spot that the dumbbell was, in the working side hip crease. Then you're going to get into your stance. Push up. You're just going to do exactly what you've been doing with the dumbbell or body weight. And you're driving this non-working side leg up while extending through this left side hip, and then coming back down, letting your chest and head hinge down with you. Now the downside of the landmine is when you need to switch legs, you're gonna have to either move the bench onto the other side or move the landmine onto the other side of the bench. You can't just like slide this over. And so sometimes that can be annoying, I get that. Um, but I'm probably giving you guys like 60 to 75 seconds rest between legs. And so that's plenty of time for you to do that. Um, if you find that you don't feel like doing that, you're very welcome to use the dumbbell. It's gonna work awesome. I do think that most of you guys will enjoy the landmine, at least during the set, a whole lot better. And from a loadability standpoint, it's way more practical. So give everything a shot and you guys can decide how you wanna load it.